Star Trek the motion picture my favorite Star Trek film of all time uh, a lot of people find it slow and dull I find it fascinating and entertaining although the uh, the scene where Kirk is being shown around the Enterprise in a shuttle pod via Scotty does go on for three and a half months but uh, some good music when that happens. Uh, so I'm just going to go through some of my Star Trek merchandise. Um, so lots and lots of merchandise was released for Star Trek The Motion Picture. Um, especially, I mean, it seemed to be everywhere in the UK. It was in all the newspapers. There was a big fuss over that Spock wasn't going to be in it. Um, and then Spock was going to be in it. And various things like that. It was in, I say, front page news on some newspapers. So I'm just going to go through a few items and then uh, show you my newest uh, acquisition. So... Lots of things were done, lots of magazines and books. This is the uh, Marvel Comics adaptation. Um, this is the Super Special. This comic adaptation was printed so many times in so many different ways, it seems. Uh, so this is, I think this was probably the first version. Then it was done in a monthly series. Um, in the UK, we had it, I'll just show you. It. In the UK, we had it published in a Star Trek annual. Um, this one, unfortunately, someone's cut up. But uh, yeah, it's just the Marvel comic in a hardback form. Um, we also, we didn't get the monthly colour comic, Marvel one, but we did get some British reprints. So this is the Star Trek Summer Special comic, and it reprints one of the issues, probably a couple of the issues from the Star Trek Marvel comic, just in black and white. For some reason, most UK reprints of Marvel stuff was in black and white don't know why probably it was cheaper um, it's quite hard to get hold of these in any sort of condition there was book and record sets so this was the old uh, Star Trek the original series records were re-released you know, a lot of this sort of stuff happened where they'd re-release it as the motion picture um, they did that with the uh, spot kit from Aurora as well um, so then you got things like the pinup magazine so this was a magazine uh, almost like a poster magazine, but pinups, so not quite as big as a poster magazine. Lots of lovely shots in it. You had things like the official cinema brochure, which you could actually, back in the day, buy from the cinema. You don't seem to get these at all anymore. Some lovely shots in there, I'll go through that. And you had things like the Star Trek Make a Game book, so this was a, a book that you could punch out a game and play it. I don't know whether anyone ever played the game. It looks pretty simple to me. Um, my favourite book of the time, Star Trek USS Enterprise Bridge Punch-Out Book. So this was a book that you could buy and it had a cardboard punch-out bridge. Um, I do have a made-up one. And uh, this was available in all the sort of uh, discount store so you can pick this up for like 20 30p in all the discounted bookstores at the time i remember making several of them when i was younger finding ways to sort of stiffen them up etc um, there was also a range of mego figures uh, i only have one carded example and this is the klingon he's a really nice figure these the mego figures had lovely sculpts not much paint application really i do have the others uh, so we have the 12 inch Kirk and Spock from Mego. Uh, these are lovely figures, pretty good likenesses. Some of them do have the face grey problem. Uh, Spock's got a TV show plays there, don't know why. Um, that's a proper one. They're really nice. I first I got with Kirk first when I was on holiday in the south of Wales when I was uh, 10, I would have been. I loved it at the time. Good likeness. Uh, and then these are the small amigos. You got Kirk, Spock, Zombie Scotty, McCoy, Ilya, Decker. Uh, really nice figures. But not the whole set. The aliens tend to go for a lot of money. Uh, you had things like uh, paperback. So this was written by, by Walter Koenig. Um, and it was his time making the motion picture. This is a fascinating read, and you really see what an absolute car crash the filming of this was, and why the issues that the film does have, and it does have issues, it's not a perfect film, you can see why they happened. Um, you had things like 
the photo story. Do you remember photo stories? You used to get these all the time. There was things like E.T., Grease, Close Encounters. And this one is really nice. It's colour. I remember I had this as well as a, a kid and I absolutely pulled it apart. The binding tends to break on them because it's like perfect bound so they tend to fall out. But yeah, I read that to death. And you get weird novelty items like the Star Trek pop-up book. Ready, ready, ready? <laughs> Rija! Um, it's a really, really nice book. Absolutely mad, really. You can get to see uh, Sawit. Not, yeah, uh, no, what was his name? I can't remember what the thing's name is, but he, uh, you can see him die. The Enterprise. Quite nice. You can raise Spock's eyebrows, which is amazing. Ooh, that's not logical. Um, then you also got very weird items like the Knickerbocker Spock and Kirk cuddly toy. I mean, I don't know, did they think kids were going to cuddle up in bed with Mr. Spock or William Shatner? Bizarre. So lots and lots and lots of stuff was released, but by far my favourite ever, I'll just say, my favourite ever thing that came out of Star Trek The Motion Picture was free and it was the Weetabix card set so basically I don't know whether these sort of things ever got to America I know you had uh, premiums and that over there but uh, so this was in the UK Weetabix cereal would give away little cardboard figures from various different shows so you had a very famous Doctor Who set um, and then a second Doctor Who set it wasn't that good um, and this was the Star Trek one and I Love this as a kid. I used to eat so much Weetabix. I've almost been put off it for life. Uh, and this is this is a, a box front, which I managed to actually pick up today. Um, quite rare. Uh, so this is the artwork uh, was by Gordon Archer, and he did all the figures as well. He did a Doctor Who set. So on the front, you've got free inside, free action cards from Star Trek. Uh, on the reverse, on this one, uh, it's meant to be part of a stand-up display and it was for the USS Enterprise and it basically gives you a few details so it tells you that the length of the Enterprise was 304.8 meters maximum speed warp 12 18 phases 20 photon torpedoes 500 Starfleet personnel all on that little ship and then there's a little write-up of the film with a very grumpy looking Kirk um, and then on the back you also got various things. So you got like the Static Bridge playset that you can make up, which I remember being absolutely disappointed with because it looked nothing like the TV one. There was a Vulcan shuttle, um, which was quite nice. Uh, there was a Klingon cruiser. And then this one that came with this one is the Enterprise. So I love this, this is so good. So this is a cardboard cutout Enterprise. You can see how it sticks to the base. And then to slot it in. And I remember making this one and uh, I had about three of them and they used to get wrecked and I'd write on different names for different ships because this one doesn't have the Enterprise on it so you can have it be anything when you're a kid um, and that's really rare so I might try and scan this and print it out and actually make one up um, so that was the, uh, the back of the boxes and then inside you've got a set of three or a set of six cardboard figures here they are these, these were lovely I adored these as a kid played from ages used to have adventures with my Doc 2 uh, cardboard figures as well and you see on the backgrounds they go together so each six had a different background so this one is Captain Kirk and he's dressed as an admiral there talking to his watch communicator then you've got an Andorian woman who seems to be backing away and scared of Captain Kirk she may have reason. Uh, Klingon, I think it's the Klingon captain, yep. Again, really nice artwork. Dr. McCoy, Bones. There's Chekhov. Not the greatest likeness of uh, the actor, but not bad. We've got TV series phases. How bizarre. Um, then you've got a shaman priest. Do you remember seeing him? Nope, I don't. Looks like Horn the Hunter. Hearn the Hunter. Remember from Robin of Sherwood. Um, Mr. Spock. Probably saying something's not logical. Uh, Turtle Man. Ray Jellion. He wasn't in the movie either. He might have been wandering about in the background. 
Megarite. Yeah. On the back of these cards, you had a photo and a little write up. The Doctor Who cards were double sided and that you sort of you punched them out and they were more shaped, so less card square. But these have a nice photo. It gives you a little write up of each character. Good old Shatner. What does it tell us about this shaman priest? Priest of a very primitive religious cult from Orion's planet. Um, uh, what's Turtle Man? He's he doing? Let's have a look. Descended from ancient race of feathered turtles. Okay. It's back. Uh, and then we've got uh, Lieutenant Ilya. Sulu. Running about. Him, uh, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice and Chief Ambassador. Okay, in a moo moo. Hang on. It's a leopard on it. Or is that Dalmatia? What the hell is that? It's got a dog on his shirt. Um, Mr. Scott, I love this cardboard figure. I played with this forever. I always wanted to be Mr. Scott. He's Commander Scott here in his pajamas. Uh, Decker, oh dear. Uh, Vulcan Priest, there's an alien that was actually in the film. You saw him at the beginning. Uh, Andorian Man. How come you only get an Andorian man and a woman, but you don't get a vessel? I suppose he could be a man or a woman. It's hard to tell. Um, here we've got Ahura. And finally, Mr. Sloppy Face Arcturian. They did a Mego figure of him as well, didn't they? Let's have a look on the back. What does it say about Decker? Former captain of Starship Enterprise, but relinquished his command. Did he relinquish it? He was told to, wasn't he? To Captain Kirk and a Starfleet Emergency Directive 4909. There you go, in case you ever have to use that one. Scotty, Ilya. So yeah, these were these were a lovely set of figures. Um, not that difficult to get hold of. Uh, prices can vary quite a bit, um, but I had to get set because it's just that's my childhood. <laughs> Uh, in a nutshell, and when I got these today in the post, it was just, I mean, a grown man shouldn't get excited by the back of an old Weetabix box, but I certainly did. So yeah, so I hope you like looking at my Star Trek collection. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe, and let me know what you've got in your collection in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Thanks then. Bye.